Bailey. Um, I'm going to read you one of our special stories this, um, this year for Book Week. So this one is called Louie and Snippy Save the Sea by Colette Dinigan. One night, Louie and Snippy were dreaming of swimming in the ocean. The next thing they knew, they were diving deep into the sea. Straight into a speedy school of fish. And past a coral reef filled with sea anemones. They were having a whale of a time. But something was wrong. The animals wanted help. The ocean council told them, go talk to the octopus, meet with the lobsters, attend the crab convention, swing with the seahorses, and they will all tell you the ocean is in trouble. The wise old octopus had many arms, but not enough to collect all the plastic bottles in the ocean. Next, they passed the lobsters, lobbying with claws filled with plastic straws. But they couldn't make things change alone. They came to the crab convention of the sea. The crabs eat all that is on the ocean floor, but they couldn't eat plastic. Who would want to do that? Not Louie and Snippy, and not their new friends. Next they saw some seahorses swinging but the seaweed they were eating was growing on discarded nets and polluting their food. Louis and Snippy had to stop them from eating any more plastic. It just wasn't safe. Louis and Snippy didn't know the ocean was in so much trouble. Just then, Louis saw a fish stuck in a plastic bottle. Helpless, it couldn't escape. Enough was enough. Louis freed the fish and decided that it was time for him to show the world the plastic in the ocean and the creatures it was hurting. Louis said to Snippy, it doesn't need to be like this. We can help save our ocean friends. As the seagulls squawked on the shore, Louis and Snippy called for all kids and dogs to come together to show we care about protecting the ocean and the animals in it. One bottle, one straw, we all can do more. I hope you enjoyed that story and maybe think about um, reducing the amount of plastic and rubbish that we use and putting it in the right place.